Can you say me in your own words, please? What? How did you decide we continue, we make it, and what is your message, rock and roll for the world? I, I know many million people want to hear a message from you. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's for us. We were calling promoter and ask him how what he thinks uh, about a French promoter, and he said, you guys, the people will go to the concert. There will maybe five percent which are not coming because maybe parents say no, it's so dangerous and stuff like this. But uh, it would be very important that we go back to normal life. And also, for us, it was important to not uh, to please our uh, our fans because we said, okay, after this trilogy, uh, we have to stick together. And music is a bridge which can help people. Uh, to overcome this strategy and it was like that people were singing together and it was not an easy decision but for us it was important especially we have a very uh, strong connection to friends and to not uh, to to please them and and be there and it was an amazing concert and also Strasbourg and Lille all the French concerts were fantastic the people the looking for a new future and they want to really go over it and I think music is the best bridge to help people and that's that's what we felt when we played there. You have uh, re-released uh, the 50 Year Scorpions, you're on tour, you're still continuing and for heaven's sake uh, you didn't get up to play, thank you. Um, and you personally wrote Still Loving You, it's about 30 years ago, 32 years I think, um, longer. But uh, what I want to say, how was your personal feeling when you felt on stage as a guitar player, a composer of Still Loving You, when you heard the French crowd singing We Still Love You, Rudolf? Because it's, all, it's always, uh, no, it's still the same message in one sentence, We Still Love You and We Continue to Rock and Roll. I mean, it's still having you. Uh, I, the, 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 the song was already composed seven years before it was uh, uh, on the uh, album, uh, like the first thing, because I never pushed people to do it. And sometimes I, met, I felt also the time wasn't right. It was not played right from a band side. And so I wait every uh, time when we start uh, working on a new album, I played this riff. I was singing the song, or Klaus was singing then. And uh, yeah, and when the time was there in '83, I remember when we worked for, we rehearsed already for um, the uh, the uh, albums Love It First Thing, and I start again with this uh, melody with the riff in the beginning, and Matthias jumped in, everybody was jumping in, and then the feeling was yes, now we have it, now the song it's ready to get. Uh, played on the album and uh, I remember that all the time when we play the song people really there's so much deepness in the song and it's in an, a an, an song and actually the inspiration I get because I always love Stairways to Heaven and I said I want to make a compose a song like this also, like an like an like an anthem. So that's what's working. I mean, Klaus' uh, lyrics are top. It fits perfectly together, and that's always the situation. A trick if you compose, if your lyrics when they're not fitting on top. If it, and hit is mostly one and one and three. It means the music is great, the lyrics are great, fits, and then you have three. So, and that's uh, what Sita Miu is all about. And I mean, I always say that Scorp is standing on three feet. And it's love, peace, and rock and roll. Love stands for Sita Miu, peace for wind of change, and rock and roll is rock and roll like So, in this case, Scorpions are a band which, um, of course, the ballads is an, uh, um, an important part of the band because Klaus can sing them so well. 
and rock, of course, as well. So we had always in our albums, we had uh, uh, 80% or 85% rockers and the rest was ballads. So, and we are very happy, actually, I did an interview with Japanese um, uh, Mother Ito TV show, and yeah, we are in the, in the um, Japanese charts with four albums. The first four releases from Taken by Force to Animal Mechanism are in the charts, so that's fantastic. And in Germany, it was, uh, I think, six albums in the charts. And so in this case, we are very, very happy that our old material really grabs the younger generation. And we are, uh, yeah, this album's doing fantastic.